your Android phone may have a feature called cross-device services, which utilizes Bluetooth technology to share information or internet access with another Android device. On each phone, go to settings and then click Google and then click cross-device services. As you can see, you have the ability to call cast or internet share based on the email address you use with Google. I wanted to know more about it, so I clicked on the information help link. I was not able to get the hotspot or phone share options to work in this video. But here's a little bit more information about cross-device services. There is lots of information listed on the help link, but what I would recommend is that you ensure Bluetooth is turned on on both devices. The casting setting was automatically turned on once I turned on cross-device services on each phone. I'd like to note that I could not get internet sharing to work on either of my Android phones, even though both devices were signed in on the same Google account. The cross-device sharing feature is very similar to QuickShare, which utilizes Bluetooth technology to share information or internet access with another Android device. I was able to share files across devices signed into the same account using QuickShare. Simply hit the share icon on any file and then select the QuickShare option. However, like cross-device services, I was not able to share internet access. And when I did more research on the quick share feature, I realized that it isn't designed to share Wi-Fi access. I also tried to search for nearby devices. I ensured Bluetooth and location were turned on, but I was not able to find any devices. Lastly, you can go to your Android's phone's Bluetooth settings to share an internet connection. On both phones, turn Bluetooth on. In the Bluetooth settings on the phone, which has the internet access, please ensure that the share internet option is selected. On the phone that doesn't have the internet access, all you need to do is pull up the internet. You will not see an internet connection sign at the top of your screen. And the speed is similar to dial-up. I ran a speed test and it measured my download speeds as 0.32 megabytes per second. The internet connection using Bluetooth is slow, but efficient. The help articles do state that some features may not be compatible with some phones.